Hi, this is Lynn David Cole with Auto Travel TV. Today I'm here with Eric Peterson on the uh, right hand side and he is the uh, head of the uh, SUV uh, uh, and CUV marketing and over here in our left seat driving is uh, Susan Frizzell and uh, Eric is going to tell us a little bit about this wonderful vehicle we're driving today. You bet Lynn, thanks. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you guys could come out. Um, you're in the 2012 Edge. It's uh, just uh, just about ready to have these uh, show up in dealership lots. It'll be soon. Um, edge has been a when we relaunched this Edge or brought out the newer uh, edition for 2011. Uh, it's been a big sales success for us. It, you know, uh, year over year sales are up, and uh, you know, customers are really liking the technology, the uh, the styling, and the uh, the fun to drive piece of it. And what's new and why we're here today is the uh, 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine that's in the uh, that's in the Edge. So it's uh, taking a four cylinder putting the EcoBoost technology in it that's done amazingly well for Tour Show and for our F-Series trucks, um, giving you, you know, 270 uh, uh, pound-feet of torque to go along with 240 horsepower and 30 miles per gallon. So it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's that EcoBoost technology bringing you know, smaller displacement engines with, uh, with the horsepower and torque that people want. Um, you know, out of, out of, in, in a CUV and SUV, you don't want to you don't want an I4 that's going to get you 180 uh, foot pounds of torque or, or horsepower. You want it to you know feel and be responsive. Right. Well, uh, for people that are uh, used to driving a, a V6, are they going to no notice very much between the EcoBoost uh, 4 and uh, the current V6? Yeah, you, you'll notice a few things here and there, but on, on a whole, most people won't notice it. If you're looking for it, you might notice a, a little bit of a you know different response time right off the line. Minor. I mean, very, very minor. It's hard to actually discern. You actually, I think, see, feel a better bit of performance in, in mid speeds. So you know, quicker response time. Um, you know, a little bit more nimble type of an approach so on the whole it's fine it gives you it gives you you know a, a great driving experience in the edge um, um, almost across the board and, and you, you know he pays pays you back with better fuel economy so it's a it's a win-win well uh, Susan how are you finding the uh, handling on this the handling is excellent it's a, a very easy vehicle to drive and you really do not notice the turbo at all it's very smooth and it's shifting it's almost effortless it feels almost like it's floating do you feel a little bit of turbo lag? A little bit, yeah. On the um, start up from a light, we felt just a little bit. Yeah. So, and, and I think most most customers will 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 barely be able to discern it. it you know, I mean, there, there's there's a, there's a maybe a bit, but it's more about um, when you need it, when you want it to respond, you hit it and it goes. So, I mean, w what we like to talk about is. Um, you know, customers getting on a freeway or a stoplight when you really want to punch it and, and give it the go, you can do it. And, and because of that 270 foot pound of torque, you're able to you're able to get up and go as quickly as you need to. Well, what, what is our expected mileage on this again? 30 miles per gallon. 30 miles yeah. per gallon. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, I mean, again, you don't get you don't get that combination of, of horsepower and, and torque. And it's kind of you know we we we've been very successful with the EcoBoost in, in trucks, and it's a little bit more on the the boost part of EcoBoost. And really what we're leaning into more now is a, is a little bit of a slightly different dynamic, leaning more into the eco part of it. So it's really fuel economy is first and foremost in, in, the, in how we strategically put this engine in, into the lineup. But yet it gives you an, the right amount of horsepower torque. The other way around is if you, um, you know, like on a truck, you, you're, you're looking first at horsepower torque and then you want great, you know, the best fuel economy you can get with it. So this is kind of the other way around. You're looking for the best fuel economy and the right amount of torque that goes with it, or the best amount of torque that goes with it. So we think it's a perfect marriage of the two. Well, I'm I'm impressed with it so far. I'm gonna I haven't driven one yet, but I I will be driving one very shortly, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, for everybody that's watching this, please leave comments befo below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And if you like these videos and would like to see more, uh, please press the subscribe button up, uh, up top and uh, you'll uh, get notified uh, when we post new videos. Thank you very much for watching. This is Lynn David Cole with Auto Travel TV.